So, all right, everyone, welcome back. And yeah, I've been doing some a little bit of off camera work, not as much as I expected to do. But what I noticed, and uh, I want to try and go over this, I don't have zookeeper shards. So you remember those little cute duckies that were in my house? Yeah, they're uh, they're gone now. So I need zookeeper shards to make sure that they're like always spawned in and you know don't like just die randomly. But in looking for that, I found these really cheap zoo things. And they just looked interesting. So this was the extra, this was the extra small. This was small. This was medium. And then this was the large. And this is the largest they come in. That was a lie. The largest they come in, because I didn't actually know how big it was. So I saw this and was like, yeah, I'm doing this somewhere else. Um yeah that's that that's the large and they're relatively cheap too so i mean it's pretty impressive but i was thinking of using uh more like eco-friendly looking ones i might have to take all these ones back down because i don't really you know i don't think they look really good right now just in this state that they're in but basically what I did is that I've made a little pathway I haven't actually worked on the fully pathway but I'm going to have a pathway going all the way up to this village where this village will connect with this village and basically be one really big village that's going to be a much longer project than today so I'm not going to be doing that today mostly off camera well, not like all the building and stuff. Okay, probably most of the building and stuff. But I think a lot of this will be done on or as close to on camera as possible. But, uh, oh yeah, I haven't checked the quarry in a while. How's this doing? Oh, it found lava. I wonder how deep it is. What Y level are we at? Uh, we're at Y level 12. So this only has like a few more blocks to go down. If that, if, if it even has that, but like, oh my god, look at this. But, yeah. I was thinking of... Hmm. Oh, there you are. I was thinking of making some, maybe more quarries and maybe, like, more, um, transformation trees. And, uh... But, uh, these dark matter furnaces are great i haven't even been using them as furnaces i'm not even sure i have an actual furnace one of them i've just been using them for energy no get off me and i'm actually thinking of possibly making red matter because those have uh, a lot more emc so i might you know in the future yeah i don't care it'll regrow i might in the future be a uh, make a couple more of these yeah, I'm just too busy. So, actually, how hard is it to make red matter? Okay, how does it made? Like, I know how the red matter block is made. Red matter. Ooh, red matter furnace. It's a lot. Okay, I'll be back one sec. Give me, give me a sec. Okay, so I just put seven furnaces in there, and after I had made, like, some red matter blocks, that I was down to about nine million. I put seven dark matter furnaces in, and that got me up to 41 million. So what's that like? Duh. Actually. I'm, math, yeah. Um. Where's my pickaxe? Oh. Sometimes I don't like this mod work, because if you shift and scroll wheel, it just automatically goes in your bag. I, I sometimes don't like it. Okay, so per EMC, it's 4 million per furnace. Ta -ta -ta. 10 million. Isn't that insane? Jeez. Okay, 
Now, I'm sorry about that for getting a little sidetracked. But, yeah. So what did I want to do today? We're going to be doing uh, zookeeper shard hunting then, because I want to do that instead now. Because uh, witchery, witchery is nice, but it's a bit boring for today. Especially since I'm missing a tall. Oh my god. Wow, this is a really lucky one. I mean, I wish that those were kind of useful to me now, but they're not really that useful right now to me. Um, doot, 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 doot. And, oh, okay, two things that I want to get. There's two important pets that I want to get before we go out into the ant dimension. There's two inventory pets. Um, but I know that these two pets should be in here. The Gravestone pet restores inventory after death. This is a hugely important one. And then another one I want is the home pet. Okay, home pet. This is another one I want. So, what we need is... I don't have any diamonds. Okay, they're all shoved into my... All right, uh, they were all shoved into here just like that gold is going to be. Uh, one gold, one diamond. Oh wait, I need one emerald too for the other one. One emerald, and then I know I only saw it for like a second, but let's see how much of this I can do off the top of my head. For the grave pet, it's... Yeah, okay, I don't remember the grave pet. Because that one was actually stone, wasn't it? Oh. Uh, there we go, the house pet. Okay, I did that one completely off my head. Now, the grave pet was stone, right? So, one there. One there. Do and do. Do. Okay, how was the grave pet done? Grave pet, where are you? I can't find. Okay, there you go. Oh, a bone. Okay, yeah, uh, I'm an idiot. All right, we got it now. All right. So, we are going to. Oh, wait a minute. Uh. Yeah, sorry. I completely forgot about the bag I lost. Yes, I saw that in editing. And I, um, completely forgot about it. So, I'm sorry if any of you wanted to see me get that, but, uh, <laughs> not happening anytime soon. I'm sorry about that. My own forgetfulness is my weakness. So, god apples are pretty replaceable. Hmm... I have an ultimate sword I could replace, and I kind of have some titanium and uranium that are free just in case I lose my bow. Moth scale armor is relatively cheap based on, like, how easy it was to kill the moth, and I could easily get more. So... Yeah, we're gonna get a second backpack. We're not going to get one of those, because I don't want to deal with making that. Uh, is there a simpler one? Okay, we're not going with one. Cool. So, house pet. Where does it teleport you? Teleport home. Set home point. Um, cool. Set home spawn point is now in there. I'm going to wait until I get a red ant. Oh, red ant spawned. Eh. Oh, wait, I need a free hand. Oh. Oh, no, I need to put it down. Well, if you pricks aren't going to let me do it, then I, then I won't. Oh. I can fly now. <laughs> you can't. 
stop me. I have ranged attacks and I brought duct tape. I probably should have brought like, like a golden lasso or two if I wanted to bring anything back home, but I didn't think that far ahead. <laughs> Shaboom. Eh, I'm just gonna get all these because, eh, why not? Isn't that, is, don't I need a nasty Saurus tooth for something? Shouldn't he drop one? I thought he dropped one. Must be like rare or something, I don't know. Ooh, an enchanted golden apple cow. I can bring that home and uh, dehydrate it. But I don't know how to dehydrate it, so I mean, uh, it's probably useless. <laughs> if I'm gonna be completely honest, since I don't know how to use it. Ooh, is that a coven witch? Nope, just a regular one. Um, I'm not really looking for anything in specific. It's kind of more just like adventures into the. Nope. Uh. What? Do I not get my stuff? What? This is total... No, 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 no. This is BS. This is complete, total, and utter BS. I literally bought a... I bought... I made... I made that thing for a reason. I made that thing for a reason. I made that thing for a reason. I should have brought my ultimate armor and not this crappy <sighs> moth scale armor. I regret a lot of things now. And why didn't my um grave pet work? I had it on me. It should have kept everything. That's dumb. Why didn't it? Okay, so... All right, cool. I got all my powers back. And I don't know, they despawned, so it doesn't look too bad. But I am running away from that. So noted, don't go into those things. Um, but yeah, so basically in this dimension, my um, advice is going to be now avert your eyes um not like uh, avert your eyes something bad's gonna happen like avert your eyes don't look at it it doesn't exist it i don't want to die so let's have a little chat now with this stupid thing i heard a noise i'm pretty sure this one is a basilisk spawner oh just perfect Actually, oh, I need, I need bones. No wonder it didn't work, I guess. Huh? What are you? A baby dragon. That's adorable. I hope it doesn't kill me. Oh, skeleton. Perfect. They wouldn't let me. They fight for me? I should never have killed them. Okay. So this thing should now save my, um, all my items after death. Oh, this isn't that bad, but what lays upon that wall? Oh, it's literally just a stone wall, okay. This is a maze that I'm pretty sure has an easy way to cheese it. Yeah, I don't want to tempt with that. Oh, is this the way? Come on.
It's scary. I don't want to deal with it. I want to, I don't want, I don't, I don't want nothing to do with it. Wait a minute, can I cheese this? <laughs> Oh. No, no, stay away from me, stay away from me, stay away from me. Stay away from me, stay away from me, stay away from me. Why am I slow? Why am I slow? Another one? How many more of these guys are there? It doesn't look like there's a spawner. It just seemed like there was three of them. Are they just passive? No, I, I know they're not passive, but... Like, are they just bugged? So, because I'm a worrier... No, I'm worried about these random teleport blocks. I think that they may... Yeah, it's good if I can watch out for them, because then I at least know what they do. Or what may happen to me. But then again, I can fly. Why would I worry? What'd I get? Basilisk scale. Nice. That is important for Big Bertha. But also, I got some decent looking armor and some tools that I might actually be able to get some use out of. Now, what do I get in here? Ultimate bow, ultimate sword, good backups, good backups. A lot of diamonds, I like those. Blaze rods, sure, fair enough. Ultimate armor, good to always have spares. Another ultimate, an ultimate pickaxe, that's good. Good to always have spares of these. Uh, caged girlfriend, I'll take it. Another one of these. The ultimate fishing rod, I'll take it. Uh, looks like we got some uh, sorting to do, because I don't need some of these. That is one part of this moth set that I can take off because it is terrible. So throw that away, throw that away. I have a ton of string in my EMC table. I don't need that. Don't need that, don't need that. What's in you? Um, I'll take this, I'll take that. The rest is garbage. All right, I'd say that was a pretty good haul for uh, one dungeon. And uh, how much time did that take? Way too much. Dried apple cow spawn egg. I don't need it. Dried triffid. I don't know what that is. Ah, sucker. I don't know what you are, but... You look like a ghost. You look like you've seen a ghost. Ooh. Uh-oh. No, uh don't want to deal with that. Don't want to deal with that. This, I think I... Well, no, I, I know I don't want to deal with it also. But this one I want to deal with slightly more because it actually has something important in it that I kind of need for my journey, I guess you could call it. Yeah, just... Whoa! Nightmares. Uh... Oh, wait, one got outside, I think. I can't kill it. It has too much health. That's a small nightmare. Just tore that thing in half. No, 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 no. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to deal with your friends. Stop bobbing and weaving. Stop having a minor actual intelligence I don't actually know how much damage it does I only know how much damage I do no 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 oh, I was bad I want to go home I want to go home I want to go home I set my house stupid Okay, so I put all of the pieces of Big Bertha I have together so far. I have nothing that's fully complete. So, for Big Bertha, I need 
green goo, big hammer, I think I can get that today. I need a moth scale, I think I can get that today, and I need jumpy bug scale, maybe today. Worm, a cracking tooth, definitely not today. Caterpillar jaws, maybe. T-Rex tooth, oh wait, no, I have that already. Um, worm tooth and vortex eye I need. Those ones will take a while unless I can get Mr. Bunny here done. Now, I have zookeeper shards. So, I should. Yeah, all right, he's good now. I'm so happy for him. But I need the hammerhead. Where is he? Oh god, this guy is difficult. It's hard to even get a shot on him. Ah. Keep him in the corner until I can get out. Nice. My strategy of cower in the corner worked. Well, that was pretty easy. Do I get it? So, let's check our next contestant. The medium worm. Now, the problem I have with this one is that I think it may just be able to go through the floor. Hmm. Nothing happened. Alright, so... Spawning a medium worm in quartz does nothing. Didn't even get my item stolen from me, so it wasn't even like it was there. How disappointing. Oh, my Illuminati pet's ready. M more bald cypress stuff. What is its obsession? Uh, yeah. Eggs go in here. Hmm. I'm gonna look up what drops the green goo in the hammer, so I'll be right back. Okay, according to what I found, um, the hammer is dropped by a Hercules beetle, and the green goo is dropped by something called a Triffid. So let's see if by some miracle I have a Triffid egg somewhere. Uh, I don't think it's Triffid. Okay. All right, so let's look. In here? Nope. Here? Nope. Here? No. Do I by chance have the... Nope. Ancient dry dragon. Uh, T-Rex, though. Spider driver. What else do I have? The queen? Tax squid, Baranox, Beaver. <laughs> uh, Beaver's probably my favorite out of all of those. Uh, you know what? Let's check out what the whale is. Uh, let's see if it's a code name for something or it's literally just a giant whale. Um. Oh. You're not that big. You seem peaceful, too. I like you. Aw, you're adorable. I'm gonna make a fish tank for you at some point. Or maybe a big river. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Actually, maybe I can make a, like, a little mountain over here and make a waterfall that goes all the way down here. It goes into that river. You know what? That actually sounds a pretty nice project. Too bad I'm not doing that today. I'm going to make an Easter Bunny house for right now. So, yeah, let's get on to that. Hmm. Something called a Stinky? Uh, let's see what this guy is. 
And let's go a little far away, and I don't really want to go to my thing right now, because, uh, I don't know, just lazy to, to go there. But, Stinky, what are you? Uh, it's probably making a farting noise or something. Hm. You know, you're peaceful. You drop coal? That's amazing. You know, let's check it. Stinky. No, not sticky. Stink. Stinky. Yeah. There's nothing that Stinky can do wrong. You know what? Let's, let's let him live with me. He looks cute. I'll, I'll keep him. Ah. <laughs> You're adorable. I love you. I think I used it. And if I use two, it doesn't matter. I can get more nightmare duty. You stinky, you cute. You're adorable. I love you. Oh, it's adorable. I love it. I love when they have, like, little pet names and they're nice and they're cute and all that. Oh. Uh. Here's a uh, less nice egg I wanted to see. I didn't want to see. But, uh. Oh, we got another rat. Um. Queen. Yeah. And, uh, anyone remember the. King? Yeah. This is like a stronger version of it. But black. Alright, so we're dealing with 25 hoppers. So we're going to make a bunch of carpets. And yeah, that's basically the system. <laughs> I'm basically just going to put them in a little elevated house and put some hoppers underneath them to catch all the eggs. All the beautiful, wonderful eggs that he lays. All the little presents he gives me. I don't want to spawn an attack squid. Please don't. Oh, actually, what are those? I'm curious. Cloud shark. Oh, I remember those guys. They're annoying. Not, like, difficult to deal with. Just annoying. Which I think is probably the most... The worst thing in our spawn is if it's just annoying. Well, I'm gonna make the little Easter Bunny house. So, it's been a bit annoying to try and, you know, get all these, um, eggs from when the Easter Bunny, like, lays them all. And, um, so I made him this. <laughs> it, it may not be the best, by a long shot, but it's, um, it's all his. It's all his. Um... I want to make a bigger one in the future and actually make it look nice, but I'm not that great at building, but what did he look at us? Whoa. Whoa, Rainbow Man. That's actually pretty good. Boyfriends, Prince. Oh, wait, what was that bottom one? Rotator. Don't know what that is. Well, there's a thing called a Triffid, so we may as well fight it. You know, should I be spawning this this close to my base? No. Oh, it's stationary. Is it even powerful? I don't know how to deal damage to this thing. Do I attack at its roots? This is no fun. Just waiting around for it to go back to being 
annoying. No, don't give me. Okay. What, do I have to give it steak? So I just have to wait for it to be done healing? That's boring. I'm gonna see if he's given me any other interesting things. So I need a jumpy bug, kraken tooth. I need a jumpy bug scale, kraken tooth, the big hammer. And ah, finally, there we go. Now I can get my green goo. There we go, six green goo. That was a lot for, at least it gives me enough for my effort. Oh, I didn't expect you to be there. Um, oh, he changes colors. That's adorable. I love him. Okay. Um, I think the green goo goes there. Uh, big bird. I don't actually know. Okay, so this is the hilt. No, okay, so that goes there. I need a Mothra scale. You know what? Don't I have a Mothra egg? Oh, I thought that was a baby vampire. I didn't know those existed. I was like, oh, I didn't know those existed. What? Fresh water, dang, that's weird. All right. Um, I don't remember how big Mothra is, so we're just gonna throw her in here. Ah, you jerk. Oh, the model's up here, but the hitbox is actually in here. Yep, there we go. I could probably make a Mothra farm now that I think about it. Oh, and I got another, um, another star. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So that gives me my Mothra scale. And another nether star for, well... Really, anything I want. Um, so, which part is it for? I think it's uh, here. Yeah. So, now we go back to Big Bertha. Big Bertha. And we probably won't get to all of it, because I don't know if I'll be able to edit this all together to make it look good. I may grind for like some of these uh, items off camera, but I'll definitely put it all together on camera. I'm assembling it all together on camera. I will do that. I can promise that. Oh, I love them. But, yeah. All right. All right, let's check my Illuminati fit. Anything interesting? An iron scythe. You know, I'll admit that's pretty interesting. But, alright, I'm gonna put this egg in there and these eggs in there. Okay, let's check around for any more escaped eggs. Oh, <gasps> three more Easter bunny eggs! I know exactly what I'm going to do. Done. Oh. Done. And boom. Done. That's a lot of Easter bunnies that should be producing now. Oh, we'll have every egg we need in it in no time. Well, I might have to end it here because this episode is probably pretty long. Like I can put like an editor's note or something in after. But um, yeah, I hope that you all enjoyed this. 
Uh, any criticism is good criticism, and I'll try and improve everything next time. So, just a little recap, uh, if any of this didn't get into the footage by some chance. Um, I wanted to get a red dark furnace uh, for EMC, um, trees, uh, red ant dimension was kind of hell, and, but I found an Easter bunny dried egg. So then I put a bunch of the rest of the episode to that, and I also did these things, not on camera, but yeah. And then, hmm, not really much I can say I did. Oh, I tried Tinkers, but that didn't work out, so yeah, that probably won't even be in the video. But, um, thank you all for watching, and, uh, oh, what the heck. Oh, also I'll... Um, okay, I know I said it was going to be the end, but come on, a t-shirt and getting to fight the Hercules beetle, this is kind of important. So, t-shirt, yeah, I'm going to take that down soon, because that's kind of annoying. And, the Hercules beetle. So... Uh, gonna try and end this fight quickly because they think this will be the first part of the Big Bertha set that I can get <sighs> yeah big hammer big hammer time baby how much damage does it do 15 cool nah, I'm very sorry I'm not uh, I'm a hypocrite I know I know I know but I mean come on Come on, that couldn't have been a better timing. All right. What's the recipe? All right. Mantis Claw, Green Goo, Frickin' Ray Gun, Water Dragon Scale, and the Big Hammer. We have the Big Bertha Handle. How amazing is that? And next time, I hope that I'll have all the ingredients left to make the rest of it. So, thank you all for bearing with all this. And I appreciate you all watching this. And thank you. See you next time.